hi guys um because i keep getting asked and because i need to set the record straight uh, i want to explain to you guys what's been happening in my life for the last couple of years or so and um set the record straight as to what i'm doing with my career and everything so um about a year and change ago um my health was really slipping, um, because, um, I guess anxiety from a job that I was working for seven years was finally catching up to me, and, uh, my health actually started declining, and I had to, uh, go, uh, on leave from that job, and then eventually, um, leave the job, um, uh, because of those health issues, uh, and that put me into a, a really big depression, and it made me, um, made me question a lot of things in my life, especially Peter Griffin and continuing the channel and everything. And uh, I was ready to give up. I was, uh, I was really like in my own feelings and I was ready to give up the whole thing. And one of my friends who I will uh, leave nameless here, um, convinced me to continue with the business and to keep making videos because they felt that it was a, it would be a big regret um, in my life if I were to give up. So I figured I had nothing to lose, and uh, I allowed this friend to help me rebuild my channels, and they did a really good job. Um, they edited my videos for me. They starred in a few. They um, they boosted my social media. They represented me for cons. And we had a pretty good working relationship because we were friends before. Um, around the time that I started working with my friend, um, I also started working with the real life uh, Lois Griffin, Mandy Katana. And we had a, uh, a really good um, working relationship right from when we first started uh, working together. Uh, it just seemed like a, a natural fit. Peter and Lois, she was really good at it. And... Uh, after that, we, we really became, like, really good friends. Um, we, we experienced a lot of life together in, in the year that we worked together. And uh, I grew very fond of her. And um, so fast forward to last, I want to say September. Um... I ended up suffering a flood in my uh, in my basement where I was shooting a lot of my uh, Peter Griffin videos, and it kind of uh, displaced me to be able to make content for you guys. And it was a, a big invasion on on my space because I'd really built up that studio to to make these videos and stuff, and um, and it was all gone instantly. So I had to. Um, for a few months live with my, my, my stuff in, in these, these modules on, in the front of my uh, property. And around that time, it got to the point where I, I really needed to get a job because I needed to stop paying my bills again. So, uh, I got a new job, uh, in October, day before my birthday, I turned 30 on October 20th last, last year. And, um, so a, f a few things ended up happening on top of that. Um, uh, my, my car ended up getting towed one day and cost me a whole bunch of money. Um, I got into a car accident on my way to Philadelphia to go see the real life Lois. Uh, and she was in the car with me. We we're both okay, thank God. But but that put me into a, a, a crappy rental for the entire duration of January. And all these things were really like weighing on my mind and I wasn't really thinking about my channels or Peter Griffin or, or any of that kind of stuff. I was kind of just being tugged along by my business partner and, and all my friends. And I was kind of like living out of like having an out of body experience. I really can't explain it. I just, I don't feel like I was present there <laughs> mentally. And, um, what ended up happening was, the real life Lois uh, hit me up one day, really upset uh, that she had said that we uh, we weren't tagging her in any of the uh, the pictures or videos that um, we had on my page, 
and I honestly wasn't aware of the fact that that was happening, and in retrospect, that is my fault, and I take full responsibility, and I do apologize for that, because they were my pages, after all, and I should have been more in control of them, but um, the fact remains that she was uncredited. Um, and then my business partner posted another video without crediting, uh, unbeknownst to me once again, and apparently he had forgotten, but what ended up happening afterwards was, uh, there was a big blowout between my former partner and the real life Lois, and there was nothing I can do about it because I was at work at the time and I couldn't stop what was happening, and unfortunately some words were said that I wish would never happen, but a strain happened and a, a great divide happened in my life because uh, my, my business partner and the real life Lois had a, a huge fight that could have been easily avoided if we could just have sat down and it got escalated to a point that should have never happened. So... In my foolishness and in my depression, I kind of just mentally checked out and I told the real life Lois that we couldn't work together anymore, which is a regret, a regret of mine because I think we are a really good team and I think we can do a lot more great things together. And I told my business partner that I wanted to go into business for myself because of the strain that this caused on our friendship and and I didn't want things to get worse and I didn't feel right about how everything went with the real life Lois and I realized that because of my depression and because of my lack of motivation um, those pages, uh, even though they said the real life Peter Griffin, they really weren't mine anymore because I didn't earn those followings and I, I didn't put in the work necessary to build those followings. So when I parted ways with my business partner, we had a gentleman's agreement that he would keep the pages, he would change the name, and... Uh, I would have all the access to all the videos that I've made with him um, and that he would have to let my fan base know where to find me on my new page. And I wished him all the luck in the world and I wanted him to continue doing his thing with the social media. Um, but the problem is that he never made an attempt to let my fan base know where to find me. And then I come to find out that he started slandering my name on my own pages, which I cannot tolerate. And then I made a video with the real life Meg, Anya Winchester, and all of a sudden she realized that she had been removed as an admin on her own YouTube page. So I don't know what the story is with that, but that's unacceptable behavior for somebody that represents talent. First and foremost, if you're an artist, you should be credited. If you put in work into a piece of art, you should 100% be credited for your art. I don't want this to go any further. I don't want to discuss this any further. My ch new channels are where you can find me. If you guys want to follow me for the real life Peter Griffin, if you want to see all my shenanigans and the new videos, I've been posting new grinds my gears, you can find them on my new pages. Um, I am no longer associated with the old pages, but um, I just wanted to make this public service announcement to um, settle the air and to let everyone know exactly what happened. And if there's retaliation from my old pages, then so be it. But I can't keep living like this. I'm sorry to everyone that I've let down. I'm sorry to the real life Lois. I'm sorry to the real life Meg. I'm sorry to my fan base who doesn't know where to find me. But um, I thank you for listening to me, and I love you all, and hopefully I can keep making videos for you guys. I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.